The world's first pop-up mall has opened. Consisting entirely of shipping containers, for the next five years only, it will be the home to a mix of high street brands, lesser known boutique labels and street food vendors. Sitting bang opposite the newly opened Shoreditch tube station and open just in time for Christmas, Box Park looks set to be a viable alternative to the new Westfield further down the road. Household brands such as Levi's and Calvin Klein are here, alongside up-and-coming boutique brands like Luke and a regular choice. Uh, what, what we hope to achieve at Box Park is a special experience for both uh, the brands that are in Box Park and the customers that come to Box Park. And by special, we hope to give them an environment that's special. We hope that the brand mix that we've got at Box Park is unique to Box Park. And we hope that the end customer, the general public, just like coming to Box Park, enjoy the experience, find it entertaining. If they find it entertaining, the rest will fall into place. Um, well, I think Shoreditch is a really exciting area at the moment. It's very young, it's very funky, and obviously we've got the Olympics, which are just over the road as well, which is great. Uh, and especially something like the Box Park, it's really forward-thinking when it comes to retail and a space to sort of showcase a product. And Oakley's always been a very forward-thinking company, so I think for us it really fits in with our, our sort of brand motto and stuff. We have a shop here in the new Box Park, which is really exciting. Uh, we have our flagship shop in Carnaby Street, uh, a shop in Brighton, one in New York, and we've just opened one in Hong Kong. What's special about being somewhere like Box Park over Carnaby Street? Well, Carnaby Street is cool, but Shoreditch is where it's happening. Everyone's starting to move over to East London. We're in East London, aren't we? Box Park is indeed in East London, where commercial rental rates are rapidly rising. Could temporary retail spaces like Box Park offer a solution? And what sort of impact will it have for traditional shopping centres? The retail developers need to relook at their business model. We're not saying that that's dead. I think there'll be always a world for retail developers, always a world for big sort of shopping centres. All we're just saying is that, that the tenants are now looking for something else. They're looking for shorter lease lengths. They're very, very conscious of their brand mix and making sure there's the right complementary brands. This is Cyber Candy. It's a sweet shop from the future. So instead of retro sweets, we have futuristic sweets. It's confectionery from all over the world. Drinks, sodas, unusual things. Everything that's a lovely treat, a bit unusual and in a very crazy shop fit. So we've got copper piping, we've got levers and dials, we've got the time machine bringing us candy from other places, spaces and times. And what will you do in five years time when you leave? I don't know. <laughs> I ain't got a clear. Well, we, you know, we hope to have. we we'll, you know, we hope that this box park will be successful, and that we will be building pop-up malls in other locations. And so, I guess we'll be moving on to another site.